Alright guys, we are almost done with our resin fish painting. I'm nearing the very <laughs> top here of our big fish. Um, if anything, I don't know if we're going to be adding anything to the big fish. Um, we'll see in just a second. Uh, it got really, really dusty, so I'm just cleaning off the surface of the painting with a bit of water and a paper towel. Alright, um, and I'm going to just see what we're going to do. So a dorsal fin, if we're going to do one, is going to be right here, which I didn't put a lot of paint down in the last part to be able to put much there. So let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put maybe a little bit of a shadow at the top there of a fin maybe, but I don't know yet. We'll see. So let me just grab some orange and make it super opaque or I'm sorry, transparent, using a bit of water. And I'm just gonna be on the tail end here and see if this is worth it to do a tail or if it's just gonna ruin the illusion. Um, add a bit of a little thing there and then it's out of a bit of a vein situation going on. I'm not liking it so far. Oh, see, but the thing is, is I'm turning it. See how it's lifting off the fish as I turn it? See how that's no longer attached? So, I think I made it so I can't add a tail to it. So let me erase that. I think I've done it in every single part, but the way you erase is just using water. And that's why you have to wait 24 hours between each layer to make sure that it's completely, um, how should I say, completely cured, the surface. And I'm looking and uh, maybe we'll add a little bit of a top layer to this actually not even I think this big fish is done it's it's just so um, how should I say it's just so high up there I think we're done with the big fish and in that case we're gonna add a couple baby fish and then we're gonna do a very large layer of resin what's I'm usually doing two capfuls of each part but I think this time I'll do three capsules. So for this layer, I'll add a bit of a layer to some of these last baby fish that I did. And that'll probably be it. Add a couple drops there. What I'm doing is I'm checking how far down some of these fish are by just putting my brush down and seeing how close it gets because it is a bit hard sometimes. That one's no good. Is that one close? I think it is. Just like that. Another droplet to that one. All right, that's looking decent. That's looking pretty decent. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to see where I'm even going to put a baby fish for this one, which I'm thinking maybe right here. Sorry, I think my neighbor's doing something outside, so that's going to be an annoying noise. Good thing I'm not doing anything that important. We're just going to do a baby fish right over here.
I'm just erasing to make it shape the way I want it to be shaped. Well, the noise is done. Let me turn that so you can see what I'm doing. All right, noise is back, sorry about that. Um, I'm just gonna add the impression of a tail. And the impression of a fins. Just like that. Add just a bit more pigment down. Just like that. And wipe that up just a bit. And then once that dries, I'll go ahead and add a little bit of detail to that one. And let's see if we can soften some of these scales that I added on the last layer just by rubbing those around a bit don't want anything too harsh but we do want some details Just like that. And then the second this one will dry. Do we even want to add more baby fish at this layer specifically? I think we're going to add a few more baby fish at upper layers, but this layer? I'm not, I'm not really seeing it at this layer. I like that one there because a lot of the ones below it are low, low. But I'm not seeing... Maybe I'll add one over here. Yeah, I'll add one there. I'm just grabbing some orange. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? There we go. That's a super fit thin fish. Let's add some, some meat to this one. <laughs> there we go. That's looking a little bit more thick. Alright, and then an impression of tails. Just like that. Got a little baby fish there. I'm gonna go back to the other one, which is right here. Add some gold to the fins here. It's not quite dry yet, but I think it's okay. Just like that, and we cannot forget its eyes. So grabbing a little bit of brown. Ooh! Oh no! <laughs> Let me remove some water here before I do the next one. Just like that. That's more like what I want the eye to look like. Alright, let me wipe this up. Just like that. It is very, very hard to paint on top of a glass surface like this, but it sure is rewarding when you're able to erase quite this easy. It's very nice. All right, and we're gonna leave those eyes and we're gonna add lids to those as soon as that dries. All right, and we're gonna add little gold flakes to this other fish that we've got. So we're only doing two baby fish this layer. And the next layer I want some more. Just like that. And then as soon as that dries, we're gonna go ahead and add the lids on top of those. Let me see one more time if we wanna add another layer to this one. I really don't, do we? Yeah, it just ain't worth it on the big fish, quite honestly. That's 
not doing much for us. All right, let's go ahead and let that dry for a second. While that's drying, since this layer is so quick, we're gonna go ahead and mix some resin. So I'll be back once this is dried and we have some resin mixed. Okay, so I didn't really realize just how full this cup would be if I did increase the amount of resin I'm mixing. So it's a bit full. It'll probably take an extra minute to to get it mixed, but that is okay. So with this amount, I have to be careful to make sure that I'm not mixing it so terribly that we get so many bubbles. I've done that before where I whipped it up too much. It was nice because it created a um, kind of a cloudy effect on the top layer, the last fish I, not the last fish, but the last fish I did a time lapse of. Um, it made it look a little bit more realistic because you couldn't see through the water as well, so it it didn't look like paint. It really did look like a fish in water, which was cool, but let's actually do it so it's clear and I'm not cheating when it comes to getting it looking realistic. So you can see it's still super cloudy, um, like super, super cloudy. I think almost I should do small batches but multiple batches of layers. That'll make it a lot easier to mix this because this is a lot to mix, quite honestly. Um, I'm going pretty fast and it's not spilling, which is what I expected to happen. So that's good. And we're just gonna mix it till it goes clear, which it's not going clear as quickly as usual. All right. And then again, we're scraping the sides and the bottom. I think I'll pour a little bit of this one, look at the level of it, and then pour a little bit more if I want, because I don't want to over pour it so, 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 so much, just in case, because I do want some baby fish at the top layers, not the top, top layers, but pretty close. That way it really adds more depth to the bottom ones. See, it's going clear. That's how you know it's getting ready. Not quite though, because if you're looking through it with your eyeballs, you can see little strings. It almost looks like clear strings on the inside of the of the resin. That's unmixed resin, so gotta keep going until you don't see any sort of lines, especially if you're scraping the sides and the bottom. You'll see the lines come up from that, because that'll be where there'll be unmixed resin chilling. We'll be at the bottom and the little crevices and things like that. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's pour a little bit at a time, but before we do that, let's just quickly add some eyelids to these fish that we have here. And this one over here needs eyelids. And then I'm doing little dots of texture to really soften that up a bit. <laughs> I think that'll only take a minute or a second to dry. So while that dries, let me turn the heat gun on here. Get that ready. Mix this up just a touch more and then this will be a good pour. It's definitely starting to look more and more 3D the higher up we get, but I'm still excited about doing just a few more baby fish at the very top layers. And as I'm pouring, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the bowl around and try to get some liquid up here because that will seal a bit of the sides of the bowl and prevent bubbling or anything like that because this is the this is an unsealed bowl that is looking pretty gosh darn dry so let's go ahead and start adding i want to make sure you guys can see what's going on start adding the resin Now 
I think I will use this entire thing because that is like exactly how much I wanted. Alright, sorry about that. I ran out of disk space for a second. But I went ahead and poured the resin. Let me get all of it in here. Move that around just a bit. And that is the amount that I wanted. It definitely covered the layer, but not overly covered it, you know? So as I'm spinning it, I'm moving the liquid around to grab any of the sides that are unsealed. Make sure we don't get any bubbling. Just like that. We'll keep that there. And in just a second, the heat gun will be ready here. And that pops any of those bubbles. You don't need a heat gun. I only used it, just started using it recently. Um, if anything, you can just mix slowly so you don't add any bubbles. And don't pour if you've done a bad mixture, really. And just try again if you got too many bubbles and just mix very slowly. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, you guys, we're getting closer and closer to the end, which is super exciting. This is how we are right now. And next time we're just gonna add a couple baby fish. And otherwise we will be done. And that's what we're looking like. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.